Shalom Yashrela, Shalom. Brakati Yahawa, Brakati Yahawa Shai. Brakati Yahawa, Brakati Yahawa Shai. Brakati Yahawa, Brakati Yahawa Shai. Bashem, Raka Kordash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great Muslim who teach one rule, who taught me his truth. Peace and salutation to the Akim, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. To the Akwath listening, listening and learning, Shalom. To Brother Shema, from the pillars of Benjamin Camp here in Toronto with another lesson. And uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Shema Shai, the title. The title of this lesson will come, but it has to do with, uh, you know, gas shortages, fuel woes, you know, Babylon the Great, America the Great, right? And uh, got an alert this morning. I got a news alert this morning on this said topic. And then uh, a phone call this morning on this said topic. As well as a text uh, with a link, a news link from a brother in the truth on this said topic, you know. So through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Shema Shai, we're going to touch on it, right? But uh, we'll read this article. This article came out on Re 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 Reuters, Reuters News. And the article I got from the brother in the truth was on the New York Times. But that page, all it's doing is buffering and spinning and buffering, you know. So we'll, re we'll read it from this. And it's a three. it, it came out. Today, so-called May 8th, 2021, the year of looking for and hasting the coming of our Lord. Cyber attack shuts down top U.S. fuel pipeline network. Right? We're going to open with a scripture. We'll open with a scripture. Second Ezra 16, verse 18, and it reads. Verse 17, and it reads. Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days. Right? And this is the prophet Ezra having visions of the end times, man. Of, 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 of. Of, of of the trials of the tribulations of, of of the of the times that are to come the end of the end the end of days right verse 18 the beginning of sorrows and great mornings the beginning of famine and great death right and these are the beginning of those times man right and listen a uh, 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 fuel uh, america's america the great babylon is great Babylon the Great's top U.S. fuel pipeline network down. It could have major repercussions, right? The beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear, right? So these are the beginning of the times. All these calamities are coming upon Babylon the Great, America the Great. And the power standing in great fear is, is, is the ruling class elites, right? America the Great, Babylon the Great's democracy, their government. Their rulers, right? Standing in great fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Right? And this was this the, these were visions that the prophet Ezra was seeing. Right? And these are the evils that are coming. These are the times that are coming. Right? Jacob's trouble. Jeremiah 30, verse 7. It's coming. Cyber attack shuts down top US fuel pipeline network. Top US fuel pipeline operator colonial. Pipeline has shut its entire network, the source of nearly half of the U.S. East Coast fuel supply, after a cyber attack that industry sources said was caused by ransomware. The company transports 2.5 million barrels per day of gasoline, diesel, jet fuel, and other refined products through 5,500 miles, which is 8,850 kilometers, of pipelines linking refiners on the Gulf Coast to the eastern and southern United States. Colonial shutdown systems to contain the threat after learning of the attack on Friday, which was yesterday. It said in a statement that action has temporarily halted operations and affected some of its IT systems, the company said. While the U.S. government investigation is, is in its early stages, one former U.S. government official and two industry sources said the hackers are most likely a highly professional cyber criminal group. Investigators are looking in whether a group dubbed DarkSide by the cybersecurity research community is responsible, the government officials said. DarkSide is known for deploying ransomware and extorting victims while selectively avoiding targets in post-Soviet states. The malicious software used in the attack was ransomware, two cybersecurity industry sources familiar with the matter said. Ransomware is a type of malware that is designed to lock down systems by encrypting data data and demanding payment to regain access. The malware has grown in popularity over the last five years. 
Colonial has engaged a third-party cybersecurity firm to launch an, an investigation and contact law enforcement and other federal agencies, it said. Cybersecurity company FireEye has been brought in to respond to the attack, the cybersecurity industry sources said. FireEye declined to comment when asked if it was working on the incident. The U.S. Transportation Security Administration told Reuters it is working with other agencies on the situation. Colonial did not give further details or, or say for how long its pipelines will be shut. The privately held Georgia-based company is owned by CDPQ, Colonial Partners LP, IFM. Colonial Pipeline 2, LLC. Keats Pipeline Investors, Koch Capital Investments, company and shell midstream operating cybersecurity vulnerabilities have become a systematic a systemic select issue said Al Algird Pipikite cyber strategy lead at the World Economic Forum Center for cybersecurity World Economic Forum Center oh interesting unless cybersecurity measures are em are embedded in a technology development phase we are likely to see more frequent attacks on industrial systems like oil and gas pipelines or, or water treatment plants right control control the food control the water control control the fuel system man you could cripple you could cripple a whole country a whole country right Reuters reported early on Friday that Colonial had shut its main gasoline and distillate lines during the trading session on Friday gasoline futures on the New York Mercantile Exchange gained 0 0.6 0 0.6 percent to settle at 2.1269 a gallon while diesel futures rose 1.1% to settle at 2.0106 a gallon, both outpacing gains in crude oil. Gulf Coast crash prices for gasoline and diesel, meanwhile, edge lower on prospects that supplies could accumulate in the region. As every day goes by, it becomes a greater and greater impact on Gulf, Gulf Coast oil refining, said Andrew Lipau, president of consultancy Lipau Oil Associates. Refiners would have to react by reducing crude processing because they've lost part of the distribution system. If the system is shut for four or five days, the market could see sporadic outages at fuel terminals that depend on the pipeline for, de for deliveries, he said. Gulf Coast prices could weaken further while prices in New York Harbor could rise. One market participant said gains that could portend increases at the Northeast pumps. Right, I'm not going to read on any more on this, but we got the point out of this. If the system is shut for four or five days, the market could see sporadic outages at fuel terminals that depend on the pipeline for deliveries, right? And uh, s s uh, listen, man, it's a piece by piece. Listen, Babylon the Great, America the Great. East Coast gasoline prices rose to the highest since 2012 during Hurricane Harvey and have not gone higher since, while diesel prices rose to a more than a two-year high. Refinitive icon data showed. Right. This is this this is a uh, this could have a real real repercussions, man, on on food. Right. The food's got to be delivered, man. You know what I mean? And how are these uh, tankers? How are these rigs? Fuel? How are these rigs that 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 transport food gonna? You know, fuel fuel is a big thing, man. Rolling blackouts would have, would also be an a, an additional issue. Rolling blackouts, right? And if you ain't got fuel for your generator to power your house, right? Let's see how long this thing this thing, this thing says shut down for. Let's get a scripture. Second Ezra 16 verse verse 19 and it reads, Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. Right. This is a scourge for amendment. Amendment being correction. Scourge being a, 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 a discipline. Licks. Beaten. Right? Right? And how does the Mosai beat and afflicts with famine, with plague, with tribulation, with anguish? Right? Verse 20. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness. Right? America the Great is, is being scourged right now. And they're still going to stay wicked. Right? Nor be always mindful of the scourges. Right? Rock to sleep. You got stimulus. You're, you're being told everything's opening up. That's being, you're not being mindful of what's going on. Americans, Babylonians aren't mindful of what's going on, man. They're, 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 they're lining up in droves for, for, for punches, right? 
right? Seeking after a, 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 a quote unquote normal, a return to normal, quote unquote, right? So they're not mindful of what's going on, right? But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Verse 21, here's the point. Behold, victual shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case, right? Politicians are saying things are opening back up. You know, you got you got Sleepy Joe take it, saying uh, jobs are recovering. Things are on the up and up, right? Letting rocking you to sleep, thinking that victuals, everything is good, everything's blessed, but it's not, right? That they shall think themselves to be in good case, and even then shall evils grow upon the earth, right? Evils are still growing upon the earth, man. Sword, famine, and great confusion, right? That's what's growing on the earth, on, on the planet, man. Sword, which is military mili military weapons, modern day killing instrument, the gun, right? Famine. Right? Lack of sustenance, lack of food. Right? And great confusion. All, all kind, nobody knows what's going on, man. Nobody knows what's going on. People want answers. Right? But uh, this, this is an interesting, this is an interesting uh, development right here, man. A cyber attack. Right? We'll, we'll, we'll see. There's going to be a fog guy. <laughs> There's going to be a fog guy. Second Ezra 16, verse 40. And it reads... Oh, my people, hear my word. Make you ready to the battle. Right, us in this truth. Right, armed with the eye salve, armed with the wisdom, knowledge, and, uh, and understanding. That's how we're making ourselves ready for the battle. Right? Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability in, the, in, in, the time, in thy times. Right? The times are come. The, 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 the days of trouble, which are, which are, which are, which are, has arrived. It's just going to ramp up and wax worse. Right? And in those evils, be even as pilgrims, right? Some, some of some of us are gonna have to be on the move, man. Right? Pilgrim means to roam, right? And in those evils, be even as pilgrims upon the earth, right? We're gonna have to get up and leave some of us out here, man. He that selleth, let him be as he that fleeth away, right? You know, some of us out here, small businesses and stuff like that. Some of us in the truth got small businesses, you know. Our, 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 our daily bread, our nine to five, our grind, whatever it may be, right? We know in the back of our mind that hey, this is just this this is just temporal, temporal, man. Right? At any minute now, it can go south. Right? And you'll have to flee. And he that buyeth is one that will lose. Right? Whatever we purchase, we know is not for the long haul, man. Whatever we purchase, whatever we buy, it's not for the long haul, man. Might have to up and leave that. An hour, an, an hour from making the purchase, might have to up and leave that tomorrow. Whatever it be, we're not invested in 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 in, in Babylon the Great, America the Great. We're not invested in in, in 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 none of this, man. Right? He that occupieth merchandise, right? He that has assets, property, right? Physical assets, all carnal, all all all, all carnal, right? He that occupieth merchandise, as he that hath no profit by it, right? What whatever it is we have in our possession, physical possession, as far as assets and stuff like that, right? We know say we know say it's it's, it's it's temporal, right? It's not there's there it's not it's not profitable, right? And he that buildeth is he that shall not dwell therein, right? Whatever it is, whatever it is you're building up, if you're building up something, you know what I mean? It, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be toppled ultimately. Right? You may not live in it. <laughs> you see me. He that soweth, right, he that plant, as if he should not reap, right? Whatever it is you're planting, have the mindset that you may not reap it, man. Whatever it is you possess, have the mindset that you may not it, 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 you may have to run and leave it. Right? They that marry as they that shall get no children, and they that marry not as the widowers. And therefore, they that labor, right? Labor out here on your grind, out here getting your daily bread, right? And they that labor, labor in vain, right? It's all, it's all gonna come to naught, man. All of this, right? The Most High has His hand on America, the Great Babylon, the Great. It's true. It's crumbling, right? But yeah, I just wanted to touch on that. I pray you edified. 
I don't want to write this out. Stay prayed up. Pray without ceasing. Kwame Asharala. Wa abad. Baba.